Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy L, man. And I'm back with my last Demigod Center build, man. <clears throat> Excuse me on that. But, uh, yeah, man, I came across this build. I didn't even know what I was doing, man. I was just experimenting. I don't know. But, yeah, this is going to be my last Demigod build of the, uh, of the year. I, I believe so. I believe this is the build I'm going to stick with mainly. Now, this might be the build i stick with mainly on the threes you know what i'm saying I, I i don't know for the tools i might go back and forth on the tools between this build and uh in my post score you know what i'm saying you see you're gonna go with the lowest height lowest weight you'll keep it at the uh, wingspan at seven five but yeah this build is for sure the best center build for the threes for sure for sure no no doubt no doubt you know what i'm saying the, the reason why I say this is the best build for the threes, you, you'll, you'll see I'll explain it in a minute. But, you know, say you're going to max out that, that dunking first. Max out that uh, three-point. Max out the speed with ball. And max out the defensive rebound. Now, the reason why I say this is probably the best center build for threes now, A, we all know the talk about interior defense, how, you know what I'm saying, they posted interior defense has nothing to do with blocking, getting dunked on, and then they boost up interior defense just a little bit to help with that, but mainly they still said that blocking and getting dunked on, I mean, getting dunked on has mostly to just do with your blocking. Now, with this build, since interior defense, has nothing to do with getting blocked or has little to do with blocking people getting dunked on the, the interior defense is going to be all the way down now due to the i'm saying this is for threes because who gonna pull up on the threes court with a pure post score and just post you up on threes like they're not gonna win like that you know what i'm saying that's why I'm saying on twos, I might go back and forth. But on the threes, if somebody just try to post you up every play on a threes court, you're most likely going to beat them because threes is the way to win on the threes court. You know what I'm saying? Threes. Make it threes. So due to the fact that post scores don't really pull up on the threes court, that's why I say this is usually, usually the best build for the threes. Even on the tools, because there ain't that many post scores. Everybody want to make a 6-7-6-8 six, six, dribble god Vince Carter build, even on the tools. But yeah, if you look, even, okay, now, so if you look at my badges, man, it got 20, 17, 15, and 22, right? This, is, this build is, 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 is godly, like, and even with the interior defense being down low, and you feel that you might come across post score just put hall of fame um or hall of fame or gold um was a lockdown uh post score lockdown whatever that that build is that that badge is called for, for the post scores that that'll help you you know what i'm saying even with no interior defense you know what i'm saying but ain't too many people be posting up to me i feel like the people that have no skill come pull up with post scores other than that, post scores is, is it's not that it's not that many of them. It might be post scores, but they don't just sit there and try to just post you up all day unless they just have no skills. We I want to spot up and see the future and look at the net. They give you slashing shot creator. Now, as you see, the build had what I think it was 22, 24 defensive badges. So you know this build got defense, but. It's named the slashing shot creator. You know what I'm saying? So people see that build, they automatically think you have no defense. So yeah, for the so far with my finishing badges, you know, Hall of Fame, Posterizer, Hall of Fame Slithery, Hall of Fame Heat Seeker. And then uh I forgot, I don't even think I put on Lost City, but I forgot. That's that's one you want to put on. I don't think I put it on right here, but Lob City is actually what I put on. 
um, failures finisher. And then I think I went with uh, Rise Up. But I think I will probably take off Rise Up or take off Fearless Finisher. And then I will most likely put that on Live City. I forgot all about Live City when I was making this video. I looked right over it. And then for the shooting badges... You already know. Max out green machine, catch and shoot, hot zone hunter, hot shot, corner specialist. And then the last little two, you go ahead and put on your volume, volume shooter. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. And then for these finishing badges, you know, you gotta pick quick first step, of course. I'll go with Needle Threader. Uh, I believe I will put on uh, Floor Journal and Bullet Passer. Uh, my game glitched right there, but yeah, I think the rest of the badges I put on Bullet Passing because the passing is so slow. But yeah, man, then you go go Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame. Rim Protector Hall of Fame, of course. Intimidator Hall of Fame. Hot Stopper. Uh, high as you can get. I believe it was only gold. You know what I'm saying? See, it is, as you see, like I said, it's no interior defense. So, I'll put Chase Down. You know what I'm saying? On, on Silver. Now, this is just me just showing y'all, but you know what I'm saying? Probably move this around like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? You got to see what works. And then, yeah, of course, you know, I might, just, yeah, clamps because everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody dribbling, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll probably do pogo stick for the post scores, you know what I'm saying? When they do just randomly come about, you know what I'm saying? Now, that's the build, man. Hope y'all like and subscribe to this video. You know what I'm saying? This, this build, I, I feel is good for the threes. You know what I'm saying? Let's check this out. I'm out.